Hey, welcome back to the channel. So we're going to do a little bit of troubleshooting here on my LED setup that I've been documenting and have uh, put videos of the creation process for. Because as you can see, right up here, I got three pixels that are turned on even though the rest of the set is off. And this is caused by a pretty common problem with the controller that I'm using and the type of install that I have uh, having to do with some, um, well, we'll talk about that. So as you can see, the last two pixels currently on my LED strip, sometimes it's more like four or five, are lit up even though the rest of the strip is off. And it has to do with the way these strips work. When you power them off, when you actually tell the system to shut off, there's still power technically running to the entire strip. But logically, in the software on each of those chips, there's a command that says, don't light, or light up in black, basically. So be off. Uh, what happens though is if you have some residual power that runs through that data line and isn't bled off when it's turned off, that signal gets confused and a few of the pixels will still be receiving an on signal with a random voltage that tends to light up in the white and blue spectrum. Uh, when I have five or six up, I've got a picture of that, it lights in various shades of blue. So what we can do is one of three things. There is a hardware solution, and then there are two software solutions. We're gonna talk about the software solutions in this video. Okay, so to address this issue with the software, there are two methods that we can use, depending on the version of the WLED software that you have. And for that, we're back down here in my office so that I can show you this and uh, walk you through the settings. So the first is to create a preset that is coloring the display in black, essentially. To do that, what we would do is on our display here, simply take the actual colors that we're projecting. So right now I've got kind of a Christmas thing going with red and green, and we would change these colors to black like that. Essentially what that's doing is it's powering the system in black. Now we can save this as a preset, but an important thing to note before we do that is we want to save the system state of that preset as on. So if you're doing it in this method, the power, quote unquote, has to be on and you're powering it with all black. So we would come up here to the top and hit power, make sure that this is highlighted and on, and then we can save our preset. If you haven't done presets before, to uh, get them to work, what you end up doing is configuring this exactly the way you want it. So you set your effects, your colors, your different patterning, things like that. And then you come down to the bottom to presets, click on that, and then you have this option here to create a preset. So if I create this preset, it's going to ask me what I want to call this. In this case, I would call this off or maybe off black. I can give it a quick load label. That's going to be the little short uh, two or three letter code that's going to show on the screen. So you can have a stack of these and quickly select between your different presets. Uh, I'll just call this off or OF, I guess. And then we can modify or choose a few things. So I'm going to save the current set, save the current brightness, save all the things related to this. Uh, and then hit save preset. So that's going to save this both as a preset listed here and as this quick load of OF in my case. So I can just click on that and my lights are gonna instantly go to black. So to kind of show you how that works, I'm gonna just select a few colors here. So I've got my lights lit up, have whatever effects I want. I'll jump over to presets, click on that load. And now if I go back to colors, everything is set to black. That essentially now is telling our lights that even though you're on, each of the pixels is shut off, All right? So each actual virtual light is told to broadcast black, which is nothing, right? The other way to do this, if you have a somewhat modern version of the WLED software is through a preference. And that preference is referred to as off refresh, which is not intuitive at all. Uh, I looked over it about four times knowing this had to be a thing. And thank you to the folks over at the WLED forum on Reddit for helping me find what that preference actually does. But to get to it, you simply come up here to config, go to LED preferences, and scroll down a bit. And down under your hardware setup in LED outputs, there's this option right here called off refresh. What off refresh does is exactly what we just did with the preset. So it tells it shut off, meaning broadcast black, 
but it will continue to push that essentially. So your power in the setup will still be off according to the WLED software, but it's pushing out to the lights a, uh, a kind of a constant black signal, right? So it's refreshing to each light. You should be off. Hey, you should be off. Oh, by the way, you should be off. And it's doing that to get rid of that extra little residual power issue that you have. So we simply turn that on and then go to the bottom or to the top and hit save. Those preferences will get saved and that will go into the system. So the difference when you're doing this, if you're doing the preset mode where you're creating a black preset, you have to leave the power always on according to the software and you're just loading a preset. That can be visually a little bit odd to get used to. If you have the modern version, I'd recommend doing the preferences route. So setting this to off refresh, which will in the software then trigger that when you turn the power to off. So at this point, what my lights are doing is pushing nothing. It's pushing a black signal out. And if we walk up to the lights, we should see that that end of the strip is now no longer lit. So going outside to my setup, you can see that the powered LEDs are actually still lit on my two controllers, even though the software is set to off right now. That's because that off refresh is still broadcasting black. So let's go look at the strip itself. And voila, even with the wind, you can see that my lights are no longer lit on the roof. So again, it's pushing black to the entire strip. And now everything looks off. And I don't have these three to six glowing pixels in the corner. So that's gonna wrap us up for this project. Um, hopefully this was helpful for those of you who have this issue with these lights getting stuck on a little bit. Um, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I didn't like seeing those on all the time. Now the other hardware solution that is involved with this involves resistors that you can put on the data line to assist with this problem as well or actual switches to your power supply. I will at some point be installing a timed power supply uh, so I can turn the entire system off when I'm not using it and shut it off between seasons because I don't like having this whole thing energized when it's not being used, but that's gonna come later. So this being the end of a DIY dad video, I do owe you a dad joke. And given the time of year, I thought I would ask, why is it you only find turkeys in October and November and December? Why do they only show up in the fall? because turkeys like foul weather. All right, remember with any DIY project, the most important step is just to do it. Have a great holiday season. Catch you on the next one. Take care.